Jasmine. I'm a cozy orange luminary. Today we're going to be talking about restorative yoga. So this is yin yoga, a complement to our practice of yang. So yang targets our muscles and yin targets those joints, the connective tissue where all the synovial fluid fl flows through. And because of these are our connective tissues, they require a little bit longer of holds. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start with um, half butterfly. You're gonna extend your right leg out towards the sides. In uh, yin yoga, props are your friend. So if you have a blanket that's great to sit on, I'm gonna place mine right back behind me. You lean forward and sit on it. This protects your sits bones. It also encourages your pelvis to tilt a little bit further forward. And so I'm gonna bring blocks into my play as well. So I'm gonna place a block underneath my knee. You can start with the knee bent as you Hinge forward into this practice, you can eventually remove the block. You can also stack some blocks, one on top of one another, to act as support for your head. And these are adjustable, so you can start at a higher height. As your body opens up, maybe even adjust the height. Or even maybe remove the blocks altogether, maybe just make it be one block. You're going to want to hold this pose for about four minutes. Now allow your muscles to relax, so let your quad relax, let your ankle relax, your calf, feel the deep stretch into your entire leg, but also into the other side, so that's why we take it to each side. So again, you're going to hold this for about four minutes, allow yourself to be nice and still, maybe even flip your palms up to release some energy here, and after those four minutes, slowly ease on up. Let your head be the last stack on top of your spine. Gently guide your leg in, and then we'll start it on the other side. So same setup, extend your left leg long. This is half butterfly, just make sure you still do it. Even amounts on the other side. So again, place the block underneath your knee to start. Eventually, again, you can remove this block. Or if you don't need that block, again, you can release your leg to straight and stack the supporting blocks to support your head. The reason why you want the support for your head is because we're holding this for a longer time. It also stretches out the muscles in the back of your neck, so it could feel overstretched over the long run. So you do want this um, support underneath your head, okay? All right, so again, four minutes on this side, and then slowly ease on up. Let your head be the last to stack on top of your spine. Eventually get the blocks out of the way, guide your legs in, and end in a rounded ball pose. Two to three breaths here, big full inhale. Deep full exhale. Our second in posture will be full, um, full butterfly. So you're going to take your feet together, let your knees fall to the sides. And often we see full butterfly with our legs closer to the groin. You want to extend your legs out so that you can target your hips back behind you. So scooch out any extra flesh, let your pelvis tilt forward. And again, you can bring some blocks to support underneath your knees. Again, you can get rid of them once you don't need them anymore. If you're feeling like your knees are really open, you can release them out towards the sides. And then just hinge forward. Let your legs, your arms drape over your legs. Take a big full inhale here. Exhale, release. One more big full inhale. Exhale, release. So ideally, you want to hold this for about four minutes as well. To support your head, you can place a block under on top of your feet. Adjustable heights here as well. Just let your forehead drift down, reach your arms up, and allow yourself to sink into this pose. So you're going to feel this in the space in between your hips. And the reason why we want to stretch that space, the synovial fluid is, flows through our connective tissues. And that synovial fluid is where our positive energy, our chi, flows. So that is why uh, yin yoga is such a great practice for to complement our yang. Our final posture in our restorative series today is dragonfly posture. So you're going to take that out towards the side. Both legs go out. Again, tilt your pelvis forward. If you need any blocks, Allow those blocks to come underneath your knees, maybe even then extend them out to your sides. So this is where I really like to get block happy. I'll have the blocks underneath my feet, and then I'll have one or a couple stacked up underneath my head as well. So I'm going to borrow this block from my leg, maybe stack this, maybe replace this over here. And then here, all you want to do is just relax on down. Another option that's been very successful 
um, to my own practice is being able to place my arms on blocks so then your arms are fully relaxed as well. Again, the idea with yin yoga is that you want to relax all of your muscles so you can target those connective tissues and joints. Allow yourself to relax into this. Let's take two breaths here. And again, you want to hold this for about four minutes. When you ease on up, again, ease up slowly, press yourself up, and let your head be the last to rise to stack on top of your spine. Move your blocks out of the way, move all your props out of the way, and gently guide your legs back in. Give yourself a hug, maybe even take some supported boat. You just take your hands back behind you, lift your chest, let your head fall back, and sway side to side here because we've probably been sitting here for 20 minutes total in our restorative series, hinging forward. This is a great counter stretch, just reaching up, okay? All right, so our next pose will be um, more of a Shavasana, but with a supported um, space underneath our back. That also is a great way to complement our forward bending um, series for our yin practice. 